Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to explore some of the more advanced concepts of the Facial Puppet tool, such as uh, layering over emotion clips, uh, talk about the advanced settings, as well as saving and loading your own custom Puppet profile. So let's get started right off the bat here with uh, JP, uh, with his nice fine looking suit in here. And we're going to go ahead and load in a practice audio file. We're gonna, I'm going to talk about how you can layer over motion clips to start off. So let's go ahead and load in our audio file under practice audio. It's called uh, not stand here. We'll just load that up in talk mode. This will not stand. You know, this aggression will not stand, man. We will not tolerate this. All right, so he's standing up for something anyways. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to layer some motion clips on top of that. So we'll press F3 and go into the old timeline here. And when we load in motion clips, they will, of course, load into the motion clip track right here. So let's go ahead into our animation root folder and go into motion clip. And we're going to use one, uh, since he's kind of... Uh, Disagreeing with something, we're going to go ahead and use this no. Uh, this will not first. stand. You know, this. All right, so we have him shaking his head quite aggressively there, and then we'll go ahead and use this uh, sad this one. This aggression as well. will not stand, man. We will not tolerate this. All right, so there's also like a motion clip folder for uh, auto motion blending as well. You can see all these ones right here. Uh, there's one that has uh, a bunch, couple of idols in it. You can use this for when your character's not really doing anything. And we'll just go ahead and uh, keep these two. So if we ask. Uh, click and drag in our timeline here, we can uh, see the result right there. So what I want to do first of all is I want to layer some uh, puppet clip action over top of this. And we're going to go into our facial puppet tool right here. And in this tutorial, we're going to go into the advanced settings here. So let's go ahead and open that up. And what I'm going to do is just refresh everything for now. And we're going to actually create our own custom uh, facial puppet profile just to start off here. So you notice that uh, when I select, so let's say for example, my left eyebrow, we get a value of 100 in this weight column. And that means basically that it's at the maximum value. The uh, scale goes from negative 100 to positive 100. And if we select the right eyebrow, the same thing happens with the right brow. And if we preview by pressing space, you can see both eyebrows will move simultaneously. Say, for example, what we wanted one eyebrow to be a little bit stronger than the other, we can do that as well by selecting the left brow and going to like a value of 20, for example, and then previewing that. And you can see the right brow the movement is a lot stronger than the left brow, but both of them move a little bit and it creates a more natural look that way. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and layer uh, the eyebrow raise over top of this uh, audio clip here. So I'll go ahead and press record and then space. This will not stand. You know, this aggression will not stand, man. We will not tolerate this. All right, so we had a couple of uh, subtle eyebrow raises uh, right about here. Right there, you can see his eyebrow go up and also right there, all right? And what we're going to do is, on top of that, is I'm going to layer over some head rotation as well. So we'll go to the very beginning here, and there's a little uh, section here called Head 3D Rotate. So I'm just going to select that, and we can move down here, and now we have a couple of values for vertical rotation and horizontal rotation. If I preview right now, he's going to go in a full circle. Uh, if I move around my axis, he'll go in a full circle like that. However, if I wanted to uh, have him like shaking his head in disagreement, we can change the vertical rotation value to something like uh, 20, and then we just get something like this. So he's kind of shaking his head, no. No matter where I move the mouse, he's kind of basically just shaking his head. So this is a good, uh, good idea to restrict, you know, the vertical act, a rotation if you want to have a shaking of the head or a nodding of the head. Um, it's always a good idea to make that value a little bit less uh, or on the horizontal rotation if you want to, if you want to nod, like a yes nod. All right, so let's go ahead and just do that. I'm going to actually record another slower nod, uh, no, slower shaking of the head after his original more aggressive shaking. So let's go ahead and record that. This will not stand. You know, this aggression will not stand, man. We will not tolerate this. All right, so we have that uh, slower shaking of the head afterwards. And notice that if I don't move my mouse at all uh, when I'm recording, say, for example, let's just play this back first. You can see. This will not stand. You know, this aggression will not stand, man. We will not tolerate this. Okay, so there he's shaking his head. Now, if I wanted to, um, you can actually press record. And if I record and just leave this my mouse. This will not stand. At you this know, point this aggression is, will not stand, man. We will not tolerate this. We're going to have the exact same animation. It's not going to change anything at all. So if, as long as I keep my mouse cursor over top of that axis, it's not going to change anything at all. So just keep that in mind. All right, so there's our first example. What I'm going to do now is we're going to uh, delete these uh, clips right here, and we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, creating a custom profile in the advanced settings. Now, to do that, I'm going to go in and load in a voice script. 
Now, voice scripts, these include uh, perfect lip syncing. The lip syncing has already been done, in addition to facial expression and audio as well. So, in this case, we're going to go ahead and load up this whispering one. I'm just going to double click that. Shh. We have to be very quiet because we can't let them hear us. Okay, so we have this guy just Shh. telling people to be quiet. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and go back to frame one. I can also use, again, Alt and hold Alt and scroll my mouse button to zoom out here a little bit in my timeline. And what I'm going to do is we're going to create a sort of a wink uh, custom facial profile. So to do that, I'm going to go into my trusty old facial puppet tool here. And we don't have to worry about which uh, facial profile we have selected. Let's just uh, neutralize it, uh, refresh everything by clicking this button up here. And I'm going to create a wink. Now, the way we can do this is by selecting the eye lids right here, the eye winks. If we go into advanced settings, you can see those correspond with these two values right here, blink right eye and blink left eye. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to take the left eye down to a value of about uh, 20 or 25. That should be okay. And you can see now if I preview, we have this natural looking wink and the left eye goes down slightly as well, making it look a bit more natural. All right. And on top of that, we're going to change the cheeks because we want to give him a sly grin as he winks as well. Now, notice that when we wink, if we wink like this, and move the mouse downwards, our cheeks are frowning like that. So we don't want the character to frown. We want him to have a sly, uh, lopsided grin as he's winking. So the way to achieve that is by going down to your cheeks, uh, right cheek and left cheek. And for the right cheek, we can use a value of negative 100. Uh, you can recall I mentioned before, you can also use uh, values up to negative 100, between negative 100 and 100. And we'll just give the left cheek a value of like uh, 20. All right, so now if we go down, it's going to be that right cheek, our right cheek value is going to be inverted. So now we have a lopsided grin as our character is winking. All right. And then we can also add in some head rotation as well. So let's do that. Let's go to the head 3D rotate. And uh, right now we have to move all the way over here to wink, which we don't really want. Okay. We want to actually go ahead and change the vertical rotation to something like uh, 25. We don't want him to have to rotate his head very far as he's winking. Um, horizontal rotation, we can give that a value of maybe like 50. If we uh, preview, you can see, there we go. We get a nice wink like that. If we move down to the uh, about the 5 o'clock position from our axis right here, so we can just go eh, just like that, right down to 5 o'clock. All right, that's going to give us a nice little wink. And we can also uh, emphasize that further by using our head forward and backward. And that's the value right here. And if we go, now if we go down to 5, well, you know, lean forward as he's winking like that, making it a bit more... Uh, um, exciting, I guess. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and just uh, keep keep that. We're going to have our character wink a couple of times during this uh, monologue, and we'll go ahead and record it right now. Shh. We have to be very quiet because we can't let them hear us. Shh. Quiet. So that last little wink there, I kind of purposely made a mistake there. You can see that uh, it's kind of a little bit weird. The head movement is a little bit strange. So what I can do is if I want to like reset that, I can just go ahead and break my puppet clip here. And uh, we'll delete that second clip, uh, that secondary. We don't have to re-record the entire thing. We can just delete the stuff that we don't want and start from somewhere pretty close to uh, where we want to get that third wink in there. And we'll go ahead and press record. Shh. Quiet. Okay, so that's a bit of a better uh, um, pace for our, our wink just like that, okay, at the very end. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and save this wink as a facial profile for future use. And the way we can do that is by simply going up to Save uh, Puppet Profile right here. So we'll go ahead and save that, and we'll just call it uh, Wink. We'll save it to our desktop. It saves as a Puppet Profile .ini file. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And uh, they'll save all these values here. So if you don't want to like keep on entering these values in every time, just save your puppet profile. It makes things a lot faster and easier. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's change the entire scenario now. I'm going to delete all these puppet clips, reset everything. And we'll go back to frame one, and I'm going to change. Uh, we're going to change up uh, JP a little bit. We're going to give him some more uh, feminine uh, elements here. So let's go to the hair, and let's change the hair to a ponytail. And we can go to actor elements and uh, body. We'll give him like a nice, um, you know, female blazer outfit like this. All right. So we're going to change him 
to a sort of a female character now. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to be using a uh, female audio clip in the next uh, example here, in the next scenario. So we'll go to animation, and uh, uh, we're not going to use voice script here. We're going to use practice audio. And there is one, I believe, called Just Nuts. There we go, right up here. So I'll just double click that and use talk mode. These people are artists. These people are animators. And these people here are just nuts. Okay, so in this example, we want our character to look to the left, to the right, uh, indicating these people over here, those people over there. And then we're going to have that wink at the very end. So let's go ahead and record a, uh, a facial puppet, uh, ex um, some emotion to our character I'm using the facial puppet tool right off the bat here. I'm going to choose facial puppet. We'll go ahead and choose a female profile. Let's choose this uh, confused or scared one right here. If we press space, we can, you know, these people over here, those people over here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and use that and press record. These people are artists. These people are animators. And these people here are just nuts. Okay, so the ending part is where we want to have our wink in there. So we have these people over here. Now, um, let's go ahead and apply that wink uh, right at the end here. Um, at about after there, and then we can just go at this point right here, and let's load up that uh, facial puppet profile. There's our wink. You can see all the values. Uh, if we go to advanced settings, all those same values get loaded in there that we had before. So we don't need to have that open right now. And let's just go ahead and uh, um, let's go to the beginning, actually, because I want to show you if you don't move the uh, mouse from the axis, it's not going to have any effect on your previous recording. So let's go ahead and record here. These people are artists. These people are animators. And these people here are just nuts. Okay, so we have that nice little wink at the end there. And notice that when I didn't move my cursor from the little axis there, nothing, uh, it didn't affect the uh, clip at all. It didn't affect the animation at all. So we have this nice little wink at the end. Now, one thing that I want to fix with this little wink is notice that when our character winks, he's not really looking at you, the viewer, or the audience. He's kind of like looking off into the distance. And when you're kind of winking at someone, you want, I think you want to maintain eye contact uh, as much as possible. Now, um, logic would dictate that you can use the uh, look at tool um, by going to edit and look at camera. But the only thing with look at camera, say for example, we went over here um, where our character is looking over to that direction, these people over here. If we select look at camera, uh, the, the direction of the eye changes. And we want to maintain that, uh, you know, those eyes looking as far to the left as possible. We can also change the head and stuff. So that's not really going to work for our intents and purposes. So what we can do is we can use the motion key editor. And to do that, let's go and uh, open up our motion clip tracks right here. And we're going to just delete all the stuff in the eye track. And we're going to create our own motion key, uh, motion keyframes here. So from here to here, that's basically where we want to maintain the eye contact from here to there. So we're going to delete all those eye keyframes that were created from our puppet clip. And we'll just go ahead and delete those. And at this point here, when the wink starts, what we want to do is we want to maintain eye contact. So let's double click in that uh, track right there, and that'll bring up our face key editor. You can also use the K hot key or go to animation, face key editor right there. Uh, so I'm going to just refresh these for now. And what I'm going to do is select the left eye and just move it slightly, uh, just something like that. Um, and then when we have our character looking over here, we want to maintain that eye contact with the audience. So let's go ahead and click and drag the eye to look at the audience right here. All right, so then we have two keyframes right there. We deleted all those uh, extraneous keyframes that we don't need. So now we have this maintenance of eye contact right there. All right, and then at this point, after we're finished coming back, we can just go ahead and press default key. And what that'll do is that'll reset everything back to the original data that was in the motion clip. Now, we'll talk more about uh, the face key editor in separate tutorials. I will go into more detail on that, but I just want to show you a quick example of how you can maintain that eye contact without using the look at camera feature. All right, so we have that nice um, maintenance of eye contact throughout the entire wink. All right, so that's how you can combine the face key editor, layer it on top of the facial puppet tool to uh, you know, uh, further customize your uh, facial expressions using keyframes. And so that's really about all there is for this tutorial. Let's play this back one more time here. These people are artists. These people are animators. And these people here are just nuts. All right, so we have that nice subtle wink and maintain eye contact with the audience. 
So again, that's really it, guys. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, you can check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.